So here's Uncle Larry, our fearless <laughs> guide. So where are we, Larry, and what are we about to do? <laughs> We're fixing to go up to Big Sam's Knob. All right. Named after Samuel Reese, who was uh, killed in that big fire I told you. Oh, about. that's right. Okay. He was a train conductor. Wow. And, uh, they named it this thing up. Guys. And you can see the knob behind us up here, how the fire was in the 20s that burned everything up here. A lot of folks. Well, here's uh, John Brennan. I've heard of you. Doug Finch. Don't give a damn lot. Let's step infamous outside. John Brandon. Very infamous. You get a bowl of soup techno, when you. Techno John. Techno John. Do you get a bowl of soup when you buy a hat like that? <laughs> techno John. You laugh. Signing off for that. All right. Taking these rubber tips off. Since I've been out there, I mean, since I've tripped to Utah. Larry, that plate is. You been there? No, you, I'm not doing any of the parks out there? It's sandy. Oh, yeah. Weird. So you hiked with the rubber tips on in the sand? Huh? You could have used the rubber tips in the sand? I did because a lot of those places we hiked. At the, especially at the beginning, I guess because of Americans with Disability Act, they had a lot of it that was literally paved. And so I wanted to use my hiking sticks, and I mean, it went up pretty high yeah. with some with, um, paved. They either had asphalt or most of the time it just looked like some, some kind of concrete they poured. Mm. But uh, anyway, I, was, I put the tips on there get on the plane so we didn't poke somebody and, you know people uh look at you kind of funny when you got a hiking stick sticking up out of your backpack and you're getting on the plane here we are i feel like i'm in capable hands here i'm getting uh john's following larry so at least we know where we're going <laughs> you, you want me to lead so i can make sure we get lost? if i if you see my big ass come running by y'all you'll know there's a bear back here <laughs> I can tell we're not an owl now. No. Well, there might be a big foot sighting up here. Oh, there's supposed to be a lot of them in Pisgah. I see a lot of signs. Let's just see if we can get a turd bigger than that 36 inch one they had at the museum. I, I think I had one this morning. <laughs> So John, when's Lynn's birthday? Today. Oh, it's today. Don't forget to, well, you, well like Star C, you can use my satellite to send her a text, but she's not going to be mad at you, is she? Now, where does this connect to, man? It, it winds around down and, you know, there's a big open field, flat wall creek where we're going to camp. That's right. Did we come up from that way with the house, yeah. and Jeannie? Yeah, so between, this is Big Sand Knob, that's Little Sand Knob. So that flat wall creeks right down in that valley right down there. And this is all open pretty much. There's some bushes. That's what we did. Um, we hiked up from Flat Wall Creek and came back to the car this way. But yeah. When we cut. Because when we got through In the summertime, Doug, this place is covered with flowers. It's just wow. phenomenal.
stuck. Where I'm thinking about camping tonight, see that little creek right down there? Yes. So we can go from where we parked and follow it down. And there's a bunch of campsites along that creek. Awesome. Uh, we should be able to get water and wash pans out. Do that kind of shit. Clock, boy, you think, Uncle Larry. <laughs> Because she was used to somebody doing it on the iPhone, and she's like, I ain't got it, I ain't got it. I said, Pam, it, it hadn't even uploaded to the iCloud yet. She's like, oh, okay. Well, I saw a call you. She was getting panicked when that. Did I tell you about that, Larry? You know Pam Nichols? She went to Peary Town and John Nichols, they're older. But she's... I think so too. That looks like an accident waiting to happen. Plus, I just don't like the erosion that falls. You know, just don't want to be falling out. Listen, if I fall, y'all gonna stay with me, right? No. You have to wait there till we get pictures. Yeah, you gotta get pictures. I mean, now be sure to get your shoe nice and wet and muddy so it slips on this rock down here. <laughs> so you step on it. Whoa, don't you fall on me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you fail, I'd at least call SOS and make sure you make sure you have a cold make sure you have a cold drink before I left you. Well, here we are almost back to the car from Big Sam's Knob. We've been pretty good till that lady with a like three year old baby on her back <clears throat> past John going uphill. Kind of some bears for you. Squirrel. Who's got a sense of humor that sold you that hat? <laughs> Looks good on you, though.
Well, here we are, morning number one in the uh, wilderness of North Carolina. This is the, uh, I don't know if you can see that mountain in the background. We climbed that yesterday. It's a big Sam's knob. And uh, spend, spent the night here. We got John's down there, and then Uncle Larry's tent's down there. I'll show you in a minute. And then we're nestled in this grove of my tent. Got a primo spot. Slept like a baby lamb last night. We got all these beautiful fir trees. Fraser fir, Christmas trees. Everywhere, there's another big one right there. And the plan is, we just had breakfast. We're going to hike back to the truck, switch into day packs, and then uh, go to Shining Rock. There's, there's, there's John hanging his bear bag. It's a lot easier when you're not drunk, isn't it, John? What's that? Hanging your bag. There's Uncle Larry getting ready to go here. I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm in good hands with two seasoned professionals here. No Sasquatches, boogers, or bears. I thought you called up a satellite phone or something. No, this is my GoPro. Larry's camp right next to a pretty little Christmas tree here. I love these things. So what trail was this again, Larry? Flat Laurel Creek. Flat Laurel Creek, okay. in my water ready for the hike I can drain you I guess I better get ready to change clothes and got some nice wood there I might have a fire tonight creek right down there for the water source. Sounds great. Real, very convenient. Got my bear bag hanging on that tree. I don't know if you can see it. It's black. But thankfully no bears last night. Just a few coyotes. Here's home sweet home. Slept great last night for probably 11 hours. It was fantastic. Great little spot here, sheltered. All right, let's get All right, we're day two. <laughs> we're day two. We got uh, John Boy and Uncle Larry here. And so, we're, we're, what are we about to do, Larry? We're gonna walk out to Shining Rock and turn around and come right back. And this is on a rail bed, it's right? An old railroad bed. U.S. Navy built it early, early in the 1900s. Awesome. And it's gonna be rough going. Some of it's really rocky and rough like like this down here. I apologize, but, um, but I just realized I could take this shirt. Um there'll be some places that'll be nice and flat and smooth. So we'll have great weather. Old railroad bed for sure. You'll see if you pay attention, like the first place we cross the creek, like right around that little nose right there. Like we're going out there out to the left. Yes, gotcha. Right around the, the end of that, there there'll be a creek there and There'll be a lot of big old timbers where they used to have a bridge there. You, there was some back down here. I don't know if you even noticed them or not. I did. I did. Um, all these little places where they cross the water, they used to have little bridges or just a culvert with something, you know. But anyway, that train came. All these big flat open places like this. Were, yeah, uh, this is the train track. We're right through here. Now. Right through here. But this was a log loading place. So what they did to this, they cut the trees off down the hill down there, and they used a steam-powered... Um, dragger thing, I can't remember the name of it, but um, they just literally dragged those trees 
through the woods up to here and then they'd load them on the train. So and this was in the 20s, this is the Navy building well, airplanes? it was burned in 1924, so it, most of the log had happened before that. Okay, all right. Well, I'm ready to go. Get your Viet Cong hat, you're not gonna wear your hat. See there, see there. Wow. I think we can get right up there a little closer to it. Yeah, I think that's what we did last time. We got right up through that little thick of the tree. Right here, I think we can go right in here and yeah. drop to that. Yeah, I think it's too thick up there. I remember we tried one place and it, it backed out. And that problem was it. This, this gives you kind of the effect of that. Very cool. What's it like a, Just a piece of it. Just a little tiny piece of it here. I think he wants to sit there and eat my lunch. That's what I was thinking. What is that? That's the lunch right here? Yeah. yeah. This morning really bad. But really? Get old granola with milk, freeze dried. You know, when you've been hiking, <clears throat> 6.1 miles is pretty damn tasty, actually. So near the bottom of Shining Rock. Right? Nah, just cold. All right, we've hiked about three and a half hours here. What, 6.1 miles? It's a big quartz outcropping. Uh, Uncle Larry says this is just a middle section. So it's kind of hard to put it into perspective, but lots of these white quartz rocks, whatnot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, there's gotta be some drone shots or something on the internet, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, you would think so. <coughs> Beat that. We're we'll filling my water bottles up. This natural spring or spring right on the damn trail. I'm um, sorry, right on the trail. And uh, nice, cold, clean water right out of the ground. Can't beat it. And we still got, what, a mile or less of the parking lot and then 1.1 miles from the parking lot to the camp. So here we go. All right, here we are, day three. This is day three, isn't it? Yep, I think so. It's Wednesday. John's still wearing the same clothes as he had on day one. Me too. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mention about myself. So, so Larry, where are we going today? We're going to Black Balsam Knob and then to Tenant Mountain. All right. We survived the storms last night. Now it's a beautiful day. Uh, yeah, 
Yes, it is. Should be some good scenic yeah, beauty good. and wildlife fun. Well, scenic beauty, probably no, no wildlife, maybe a chip monk and a bird. There we go. <laughs> Lost iPhone. There's somebody's hat, somebody's stick. Going for the thing. The Art Love Trail headed to Black Balsam Knob. Totally spectacular views. Just a lot of a lot of people. But the, the views are just fabulous. Can't wait to get up here at the top. Take a 360. Larry, yeah. this is way cool, man. Yeah. It's been my favorite part. I'm enjoying this. I appreciate you for bringing me. Yeah. This is awesome. If you look out yonder way in amongst those greens, you can see shiny rock. Oh, I'll be dang. I see it. Yeah. Right there. Yep. So that's where we were yesterday. Yep. Wow. This next one. Next one that way, next little round thing. That's Tennant Mountain. That's where we're headed to. Yep. Right, here. right here, right there. Uh, in the middle, right here. Okay. You looking for shining rock? 
Well, I see it right there. It's right there. Right there, yeah. In the trees. That white patch in those green oh, okay. trees. Okay. That's yeah, a good view of it. It is. We're, better view we got from <laughs> right, being right next to We hiked there yesterday. Oh, okay. To the base of it. So, stop here for a second. No problem. Look at this trail, holy smokes. Where did that other trail come in? How do you get up there from here?
Oh man, what a view. This keeps getting better, I don't know how. It'll be good out here, up here at the top. Place up here. here we are on the summit of Tenant Mountain. I keep if I can turn around without falling. Wow. That's the shot right there. Tenant Mountain. I'm gonna put all these rocks in the way. Ooh. Well, there's the parking lot we started from. And what a unbelievable view. Blue Ridge Parkway. It's the Devil's Courthouse. Spectacular.